Well, hello guys. As you can tell, hold on, I'm going to try to zoom in. I can't find a good spot. See if that's going to work. As you can tell, I'm in my car and this is just the quietest place right now for me to talk. Plus, I'm about to go run an errand. And I just thought that I would take this time to um, have a little chat about my personal experience with social media and just some things that like some takeaways and stuff like that. I mentioned in my video with my goals for the year and things like that, I mentioned that I would be doing this video and so here it is. So. so I don't really know like where to start in speaking about all this except by sharing more so my experience. So um, a little background as far as like how I've always kind of, well not always, but how I've viewed in the past four, three or four years or so, um, how I've viewed social media is I have held social media in what I have felt like is a distance. I very much in my mindset thought, okay, well, social media is definitely something that I can lay down and at any time and be totally fine with. It doesn't affect me. It doesn't, you know, I don't, I don't, um, have issues with with discontentment. I don't have issues with longing after having what someone else has is has has is <laughs> um, coveting like things like that. So this is all kind of background of um, very much where my mindset was on what I thought or how I thought I was approaching social media. And when I speak about social media, I am talking specifically about things like Facebook and Instagram. I don't use Twitter. I don't use TikTok. And so that's what I'm talking about when I when I say social media. Now, YouTube can, in a sense, become like a social media thing. I think it's all in like how you approach it kind of thing. So to me, it's not so much social media because it's more, I use it more as like a resource for myself when I am researching something or like a curriculum or something with like homesteading or homemaking type stuff. Um, that's always kind of how I have used, um, YouTube. So, uh, like from a personal standpoint, obviously I am also a content creator, but just as background there. So let's fast forward. Um, last year I kept feeling like, I guess it was last January. I kept feeling like the Lord was really drawing me closer to him but I wasn't really sure in what way. Like, I knew it was something I needed to do, like an effort I needed to put forth in order to allow the Lord to really um, grow me. And it needed to be something sacrificial. But I wasn't really sure what that meant. Like, I wasn't sure what that should be. And um, I got together with some really close mom friends of mine for just like a little weekend retreat. It was... Um, wonderful and very reviving and just some really good close friends that were really seeking the Lord that, that weekend. And there was a time where we had like personal time, like a break off where we had personal time where we just read scripture and we prayed and things like that individually. And during that time, I really felt like the Lord was calling me to lay something down, at least for a season. Again, I kind of was like, oh, I'm not really sure what that is. And I had like thoughts and everything, but I wasn't really sure. Then, um, and I shared some of this on Instagram last year, or I say last year, but yeah, it was, it's 2023 now. But um, we were approaching the Lenten season and the church that I go to doesn't necessarily, like it's not a big liturgical church, like in, as far as things like that go, but there are some things that we do. And our pastor last year came to us um, asking that if we would like to participate in Lent, that he would really encourage it. Um, and it, you know, with a sacrificial focus. And I immediately, the 
first thing that came to mind. Like, I wasn't even really thinking about it, but like, you know, I was soaking it all in during the service. The first thing that came to mind was social media. And I was like, okay, well, that's weird because it's not really like a roadblock for me. Like, that's what I kept thinking. So I just decided, okay, it's going to be social media. So as time went on and as it was time to actually begin the 40 days of Lent, the giving up of something in order to grow closer to the Lord, I started to wrestle with giving up social media. And I was like, surely there's something else I can do, you know, and it's so silly, but there was a day I actually shed tears over it. And you guys, I never in a million years thought that I held social media in that way. Like, because it really is a day-to-day, day-to-day thing for me. Like, I could take it or leave it. You know, like, there are some days where I don't touch it. There are some days where I do. There are some days where I click onto it just for a second and things like that. Um, but it was very clear that if I was crying over laying down social media, then that meant that that is what I needed to lay down in order for the Lord to really draw me closer. And, um... So, yeah, so I did. So I gave up social media all 40 days. And during that time, I finished a complete read through of the Bible. Complete read through. Okay. If I wasn't reading it, I was listening to it on audiobook. Um, I read more because I also wasn't watching TV because that's just like not really my thing anyway. Um, and it just revealed to me a lot of things that I didn't realize that social media was affecting me in. And so I'm going to get into that in here in just a little bit. But this is kind of my takeaways and this is also what I am seeing in myself now. It has made me very, very self-aware. And um, before I get into this next part, I am not going to forego social media completely. Um at this time and probably won't for a while unless again I feel that the Lord is leading me to lay it down um but I will say as Christians if if we are believers there is a certain way I believe that we need to navigate social media that guards our minds guards our hearts um, and it, it brings redemption to something that is, in essence, created by the world, okay? There are some good things to it. It has brought about community that really is community. Like, I have been connected to um, other fellow believers who we have developed actual friendships that are very special to me. Um, through social media, but all that to say it should never replace the community that God ordained in the first place. So there's that. Um, so now let me move into some things that I, um, am going to confess to you guys, um, in hopes that it encourages you all and maybe leads someone else to notice that this is, is something in their own life. Um, that is needing to be confessed or repented of as well. But um, I'm, I'm going to tell some takeaways of things that um, social media has infiltrated in my life. Because going through this whole giving up of social media totally changed my perspective. Obviously, I'm on it now um, and have been since Lent was over, but it has looked very different for me. Um, and still, uh, is looking very different for me, um, in the future. But the first thing I want to talk about is the distraction that it creates. Um, I have always felt that it was not a distraction to me. Oh my, how prideful of me because it, it is a distraction or I have fallen through the rabbit hole of watching Instagram reels sometimes, not often, but sometimes I'll go down that rabbit hole and I will just, before I know it, I don't know how much time has passed. It's usually not when the kids are awake, but still my husband is there and it's time wasted. Um, feelings of discontentment. Remember, I didn't have those. Remember? Remember? Yes, I did. 
Yes, I did. They were just ever so subtle, but ever so much there. Um, wanting to check my phone and see what's going on or growing um, bored and being like, oh, well, let me just open my phone. Okay. Um, being distracted from my family at times and ads. Let's be real. Okay. So there were times where I would open my phone to scroll just really quick on Instagram and then I would see this ad for this amazing sale at Old Navy or something. And I'm like, oh, I have a couple of kids that could use a couple of things. Really? Could they? Mm, I don't know. Then I would click the ad and I would go and end up spending time filling up a cart and then never checking out. Okay. So there's that. <laughs> the next area that it that I have discovered is an issue for me is heart issues. Um, feelings of ne negativity. Once again, remember I didn't feel negativity or discontentment, but yes, I did. Ever so subtle, but ever so much there. Still there. But you, you see what the problem is with that, though. When we say we don't do those things, that means that we're comparing ourselves to someone who struggles a lot with it, and we're looking at ourselves and saying that we're better because we're not struggling as much, so it must not be a struggle. That just made my eyes water up, but it's true. Um, and also, in regards to that, what example does it send to our kids when we want them to value important things? God and people and what's going on around us and then we model for them oh mom must be bored she picked up her phone kind of thing you know you know what my saying is if my kids ever say they're bored bored is a choice it's a choice and I was feeling it with temptation of picking up my phone so what do we do okay um, take a break. If you celebrate Lent or if you want to celebrate Lent, you, you can celebrate Lent and it not be a part of like the liturgy in your church. You can do it on your own. It is the giving up from Ash Wednesday until Easter. Um, the giving up of something that is a roadblock between you and the Lord. Um, that is not allowing your heart to grow deeper in abiding with him. So if you want to do it like that. Um, also, um, putting up boundaries. Uh, time yourself. Watch out who you follow. Um, I think this is one, this is something I personally feel guilty about is especially being like in the, like as a content creator and stuff like that. You, you have people who are in the same niche, niche, whatever you want to call it as you. Um, and you feel this obligation that you have to follow them on Instagram and stuff like that. But the reality is, is that if there is something that you are seeing that is causing feelings within you, then maybe just unfollow. Okay. And, and that's a hard one. That's a hard one. Um, step away completely. Maybe you feel like the Lord is really laying on your heart to step away from social media completely. Be obedient to that. Or replace social media with something. So if your temptation is to turn to social media when you are feeling discontented or bored or want to feel space, okay, if that's the case, then fill it with something that is more life-giving, something that brings glory and honor to God. Because if social media is something that you're part of and it does not bring glory and honor to God, then, pretty bold statement, maybe it's better to refrain. So, um, yeah. So, my presence on social media from this point forward um, and really, it's been this way lately. It's obviously fewer posting. I don't post very often. I do try to share, like, little things that happen throughout our day and stuff like that on Instagram. 
here on YouTube, I won't be posting quite as much as I have. That can always change. I just feel like right now, um, we just really want to focus on being very present and intentional with our, with our kids. Um, and I can't be really present and intentional with my kids if I am filling it with, with extra things, not just social media, but other things too. Um, and then, um, on my channel, obviously sharing a lot about the home and homeschool. Um, I probably am going to move away a little bit from sharing a lot about like sharing my actual kids on my channel. They'll be in some things, but it won't be a lot. Um, I'll still do day in the lives, but if you've noticed on my past, I guess really the past few months of doing day in the lives, which isn't very often, but when I do, if you notice, I am not showing my kids quite as much. So, um, that's just a boundary I want to put in place. I try to be respectful of my kids. They're never on camera unless I ask them and they want to be. Um, and so I just want to be respectful of them and things like that. So I'm still going to be here, still going to be sharing homeschool, all about the home, some day in the lives, things like that. Um, but yeah, um, it won't be quite as often. I think I was posting three times a week and, um, it'll be more like one time a week, sometimes two, unless there is extra things and then you'll get bonus videos. So, um, but I do want to leave you all just with, it's not the word for word verses, but just some, some verses that have really stood out to me. Um, and these are things that I am constantly talking about with my children as well. Um, you know, in Proverbs 4, it talks about guarding our hearts. Um, and that's a conversation I have with my kids all the time, right? And I'm sure you guys do too. Um, and also, you know, in Psalm 51, it says, Create in me a clean heart um, and renew a right spirit within me. It's another verse I talk about with my kids a lot. And then the last one, we actually just did a study on this. Um, I guess it was like a couple of weeks ago. But not being conformed to the world and renewing our minds. And with all of this that I'm talking to you guys about marinating in my heart and in my mind lately, when I did this with my kids, I confessed much of what I talked about to you guys with my kids and um, told them, you know, like this is something that is so important that even when you're an adult, it is still a struggle. It is still a struggle. And I think sometimes we act like we're above it and we're not. We're not. So I hope that this video brought you some encouragement. I chatted and blabbed an awful lot <laughs> and I hope that you got something out of it. But this is just something that has really been on my heart a lot lately. Um, I probably am going to give up social media again for Lent this year. Um, I think it's just a good practice like periodically to completely break from the noise, so to speak. So anyway, I hope that you guys like I said, got some encouragement from this video. I would love to know any thoughts that you all have down in the comments below. And I hope that you all have a very, very blessed and happy new year.